The energy was charged with religious dignitaries and politicians making their way to St. Anne de Beaupre Basilica. Pews packed with residential school survivors ready to receive the Pope's holy mass and apology. So many others were not ready. Louis-Georges Fontaine is a survivor of the Mani Utenam Residential School. And to this day, he struggles to discuss his experience at the Catholic-run institution. <laughs> Fontaine and two of his childhood friends agreed to share their stories with APTN, despite being triggered by the scene at the Papal Mass. Dans les archives des pensionnats, à l'ouverture du pensionnat de Malutenam, entre autres, euh, je, je vois le même scénario ici. Euh, il y avait l'évêque en avant, il y avait les religieux, il y avait les fonctionnaires. C'est presque la même chose. Il y avait le pape, il y avait les évêques, il y avait les, les prêtres. Et nous autres, on était en arrière. C'est la même chose. Willy Regis, Inu from Maniut Nam, watched the proceedings from inside. He says it was hard to be unmoved. Maniut Nam is one of 64 communities across Canada who've received federal funding to assist in ground searches and commemoration of former residential school sites. In Regis's home community, this could take up to two years, but the impacts of residential schooling have resonated much longer. <laughs> But silence is not uncommon. Real Mackenzie, also from Maniutnam, says for years children lived in fear of speaking out. <laughs> Holy Mass eventually ended. The Pope has returned to Rome. But for thousands of survivors, these men included, the healing work is just beginning. <laughs> As a step in the reparations process, the Canadian Conference of Catholic Bishops has put up a $30 million healing fund to help communities establish resources. As a medicine man, Mackenzie has his own vision for men in his community. I renew my request for forgiveness for the wrong done by so many Christians to the Indigenous peoples. After the Pope's repeated apologies for the past, the focus for many is on the future. Though much is uncertain for these three, their experience bonds them as brothers. A story by Shishan Bacon and Lindsay Richardson, APTN National News, Sénat de Beaupré, Quebec.